You did it, Ruby! Woo! Are you ready? Let's go. I'm an entrepreneur, mom, wife, and friend. We will face fears, take risks, learn to love ourselves, and have fun. I believe in you, and my wish is for you to believe in yourself. We get one life. Let's play big, go places, and chase after our wildest dreams. I'm Liz Medley. Welcome to my world. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about self-confidence and self-belief and the difference. This um, was sparked from Ruby recently learning to ride a bicycle. It was so cool. Brody, her cousin, hopped on his new bike and just took off riding. He was doing his little tricks and stuff. And Ruby saw him riding without training wheels. And I don't even know that she knew that that was such a thing. And so she saw him doing it. So it created a little bit of peer pressure for her. And she knew without a doubt, not only that she wanted to do it, but that she could do it. Uh, she had never ridden a bike without training wheels. She had never even like tried to ride a bike without training wheels, but she knew that she could do it. And so she was watching him, watching him, and she finally said, hey, take my training wheels off. I'm gonna do this. So she got on the bike and she was saying, okay, I can do this. And we were giving her some tips, you know. I was letting her kind of balance on the bike and um, got, her, got her pedals right so she could kind of take off and get some momentum going. And she would say, okay, pedal, pedal, pedal. And she would pedal like two or three times and then she'd put her feet down and she would stop herself. And we're like, no, just keep pedaling through it. You know, and we would encourage her and cheer her on. And so she's like, okay, I can do this. I got this. Pedal, 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 pedal. I'm scared. And she would put her feet down. And so it was really neat to see her practicing and get it, getting better at it. Um, it was also really cool to see a little bit of that peer pressure because oftentimes peer pressure is linked to something negative. And in this case, she used um, a little bit of um, I guess peer pressure, but also comparison that if he can do it, so can I. So she went into this bike riding thing with tons of self-belief. So as she practiced and took action, she gained confidence. Let's use Ruby's experience on learning to ride a bike to grow ourselves. The difference between self-belief and self-confidence. So self-belief is knowing that you can do something even though you've never done it before. And then self-confidence is knowing that you can do something because you've done it time and time again. Self-belief sounds like, I don't know how to ride a bike, but I can learn. If Brody can do it, I can do it too. And self-confidence comes in from action. So the more Ruby learned to ride the bike, the better she got, the the increase in her self-confidence. So anytime we are learning something new, we have to always anticipate that something's gonna show up that wants to derail us or quit or tell ourselves that it's too hard. Just like Ruby crashing time and time again. It was like she would pedal, I can do this, I can do this. Oh my gosh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. And she'd put her feet down. We have to anticipate that going in to learning this new thing that we're gonna bring into our life. So some people believe in order to start something or achieve something that you have to have self-confidence. And that's not true. You need self-belief. So three things that I learned from Ruby during this um, adventure of her learning to ride her bike is one, make the decision. You can either stay where you're at or you can make the choice to live life to the fullest. The second thing that I learned during this was Mindset. Mindset is everything. So there's fixed mindset and there's growth mindset. Fixed mindset is um, I am who I am. I'm good where I'm at. Growth mindset is there's unlimited potential. I can do whatever I set my mind to. And then the third thing is self-talk. So your words become your reality. So if you say that you can't do something, you're not gonna do it. So whether you think you can or think you can't, you're always gonna be right. So if you, you need to change the life, you're saying that you can't do something, that's a lie, you can do it. So change the lie that you're telling yourself. 
Imagine our lives where we continue to conquer and learn new things every day. By learning something new, we gain confidence that we can carry with us for a lifetime. We know we can overcome other challenges because we believe in ourselves. Personal growth helps us unlock our unlimited potential, and with that, we become stronger and closer to becoming the best version of ourselves. I'm Liz Medley, and I believe in you.